Now, as we've been talking all things squats lately, I wanted to make sure that we touch base on one of my favorite squat variations known as a rear foot elevated split squat or also called a Bulgarian style split squat. Now, don't let the name scare you. It is a single leg exercise, which means it is more advanced, but I do think there's some very simple ways or corrections that we can use for other people to be able to use this awesome exercise. Now, why I like this one so much is obviously single leg or even single arm training. There's a lot more bang for your buck in terms of having more carryover to uh, activities of daily living and especially sport activities. Um, you're obviously working single limb at a time, so we're improving foot stability, your balance, uh, hip stability, lower body strength and power, we're working on core stability, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of bang for your buck out of this exercise. So what you really need is a box, a bench, or a chair that's somewhere between the height or up to the knee. Now there's, again, a lot of people that are gonna shy away from this just because they have difficulty with balance, but I think if you sneak the bench or whatever you're using up to a wall or a squat rack, you're able to hold on to something as you place the back foot on the bench and let the top of the foot or ankle just kind of flop down. So as I lower myself down, you can see that I stepped forward with my right foot. Now why I did that is to make sure that I check the angle of the knee, making sure that it is up to the toes or safely behind the toes. We don't wanna be doing this exercise, especially with resistance, where the knee drives over the toes. That's gonna to start to fuel the fire of arthritis or some type of uh, discomfort under the knee. So this looks more like the position, proper position to do your Bulgarian style split squat. Now, although it's called a split squat, it's not like you're using 50% of this leg and 50% here. You wanna be more shifted with your weight forward on this front leg. So it's more like 90% of the weight that you're using, uh, even if it's body weight, should be controlled by this leg. Now you can emphasize using uh, the bottom of the foot your calves, hamstrings, and glutes by trying to drive the heel into the ground and relying on that 80-20 principle. So 80% of the weight is in your heel, 20% is in the ball of the foot. So if you're just a beginner starting out, I would just recommend that you actually just rise about two inches off the floor and hold that position. Now you can hold that for any length of time that's challenging for you and then switch sides. Now you can use that as middle of an exercise routine or as a workout finisher. As you begin to progress and add more repetitions, that's when you're actually going all the way up and all the way down through that split squat fashion. Now just make sure that you don't actually tap the knee in between your reps. You wanna work with constant time under tension so the body is continuously working over time. Then you can switch sides. If you're able to brick, progress and eventually hold a weight plate, kettlebells, dumbbells off to the side, same thing. Make sure that your eyes are looking straight ahead, chest slightly forward, heel drives into the ground, and go ahead and bang out your quality reps there. So as I said, tons of bang for your buck out of that exercise. Give it a shot. Let me know how it goes.